Hi, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we are going to talk about three digital product niches that in my opinion are the biggest at the moment now in 2023 on Etsy. Now, these niches have some pros and cons. The pros being that they are big niches and there is demand for these products. And the cons of course being that because there is such a high demand for these products, this means that the competition is high as well. So if you are thinking about opening an Etsy digital product shop, then this video is definitely for you. And if you already have one, then you might pick up a few extra tips and tricks along the way. Of course, all of these three niches that I'm going to talk about today with this very big potential, like five figure months potential, are big and these niches can be broken down into smaller subcategories. This is the point when it comes when you can choose. Do you want to go and niche down even further in your selected digital product field? Because they, I do not want to repeat the niche word a lot of times. Or what you can do is to target a more broad niche, create more products. This will require more work but the chances of one of those products being a bestseller and taking off is also higher. But when you niche down and you select a very specific niche and you address your products to a very specific audience, then you will have the option to target those people more efficiently with your more targeted products. We are going to take a look at all three of these categories or niches and we are going to analyze what kind of products are they're selling and maybe we will be able to identify a few spots where you could create digital products that you could sell on Etsy. Making money online these days is easier than ever and you only need a few tools. And for those people who don't know how to create digital products, like you are not good at design, then I highly recommend you check out this other video that I did where I show you digital products that you can make with the help of Excel or Google Sheets. So without any further ado, let's talk about three digital product niches that are the biggest on Etsy in 2023, according to me. And right off the bat, the first one and the biggest that has still potential is the planner niche. Now, the planner niche is very vast and we are going to hop over to my computer and I will show you what I'm talking about because with planners you have the option of creating digital planners, you have the option of creating printable ones, you can create editable ones and did you know you can create planners also in Excel? Just check out that video because it will help you out a lot. So let's hop over to Etsy and I will show you all the different types of planners that are on Etsy these days. So I just typed in planner into the Etsy search bar and let's take a look at all the product types that are under this keyword. First of all, here are some digital planners then a Notion planner. Do not limit yourself to PDF files when it comes to planners because there are many many choices. Then there are some printable planners and here come the Excel planners. These are some budget planners. Here is another Excel based planner. This is a content planner. This is a business planner. ADHD planners were a big thing at the beginning of the year. And if you scroll down to the bottom of the first page, but here you also have some other categories that are related to planners. These are sort of accessories to planners and to these kinds of products. And by creating a few of these, you can potentially increase the average cart value that your customers purchase from you. Here we have stickers, printable stickers, digital stickers, templates, covers and inserts. These are all accessories or some other kind of inserts because that's what they are into digital planners mostly but the stickers are as we all know stickers these can be printed that will be shipped to you or this could be digital that, that you can use on a tablet i am not going to go into detail with all of these listings because that you can do yourself too if you want to know how to do free etsy research then i highly recommend you check out that video it uh, shows you step by step how to do it for free but i can show you another cool trick on how to find really well-performing listings. Of course you can filter for the bestseller badge but I use a tool called Everbee and this helps me find digital product niches and digital product ideas that are in demand and have a great potential and I'm going to show you how it works. If you haven't used Everbee at all you can find the link in my description and you can try out Everbee for free but this is how I use it. I click on this product analytics button and this will gather all the data from this first page and it will show me an estimate for the last 30 days. 
and here are the results. We can see the estimated monthly revenue, the estimated sales, the shop's age, views, visibility score, and things like that. And what I like to do is that I filter for the monthly revenue. And as you can see, the bestseller product here made over $4,000 just in the past 30 days. I talked about this digital planner before. It is the Dead Girl digital planner. And this shop, in my opinion, is using some very bad techniques to sell their planners because it is on sale 100% of the time. I have been following this shop for quite a few months now and I haven't seen their shop when it was not on sale. So I think that is a very bad practice and it will just bring down the whole digital product market with them. The second biggest category, in my opinion, and it is now in season also, is the wedding niche. This is very big, especially in the summer and it has lots of lots of sub niches and that's why it is a good niche but as I mentioned it at the beginning of this video the competition is fierce as hell in this niche and it's also really hard to get uh, some uh, momentum here and another crucial thing that you need for this niche, for the weddings niche, is to have really good design skills because when it comes to people's weddings they want things to look pretty and to look good Either they're choosing an elegant style or they're choosing something more boho or eclectic or any kind of style. These products need to look really good. I just typed in wedding and I will show you what comes up. We have digital wedding planners. We have Excel spreadsheets for weddings, printable ones, digital planner, table numbers and so on. So the options are endless with weddings, but you have to choose a niche that is in demand. A sub niche, I, well, that's what I mean, a sub niche. Let's analyze this with Everbee. For this niche, I want to analyze this niche with Everbee as well, especially this first page. But what I will do is I will add the word digital in front of the wedding as a keyword so that we will only get digital files here. And here are the results. Now I will hit analyze product and we will see the potential in this niche. This is the item that is relevant for us and which made the most amount of sales. This is a 150 page wedding planner. It can be used digitally or printed out as well. It made more than $5,000 in the last 30 days according to Everbee. And here are the keywords that they are using. Very targeted long tail keywords and their visibility score is excellent as is their conversion rate and their review ratio as well. But there are some other digital products that you can create in this niche. Just keep in mind that you need to polish up your design skills if you want to get into the wedding niche and in my opinion this one also applies to the party niche as well. And the third biggest niche on Etsy with digital products in my opinion are templates. Here we can talk about social media content, workbooks, also again lots of lots of Excel templates and Notion templates again. I know that some of these categories and some of these niches overlap and that section where these overlap is the best one because that's where you get the best of both worlds, let's say, because if you are creating a wedding template, then you are getting people who are interested in weddings, but also in templates. This can be easily created with Canva if you are not good with Adobe products, or if you do not prefer Adobe, then you have some other options as well. My design program of choice is uh, InDesign or Photoshop. If you would like to see how I create planners in InDesign, then you can check out this video. But yes, templates. For templates I use Canva. I also want to show you a few products that are working really well for the template niche. Again, we have a planner template for Notion. This is where the planner and the template niches overlap. We have some budget planner templates again, some more budgeting spreadsheets. This is a nice template collection for realtors, social media templates, workbooks, ebooks, and things like that work really well. This is an Airbnb welcome book template. This one looks really nice as well. And as you can see, the options are endless with templates as well. Resume, invoice, business templates, all things that you can imagine. I wanted to make this video because I get the question, which products should you I start with a lot? And I never know what to reply because there are clearly two options. Either you can go with a very big niche like the ones that I just mentioned, or you can go and find a very small but very productive and very profitable sub niche in one of the other niches. It, it's, 
it's truly up to you and to your style and to your preferences. Thank you very much for watching today's video. I really hope it gave you answers to some of your questions. If you would like to try out Everbeak for free, then you can find the link in the description box down below and in the first pinned comment. Give this video a like for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe to the channel if you are not already and hit the notification bell so you will never miss another video in which I talk about digital products, making money online and all things related to that. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!